I came to America in 1959. It was difficult to get a citizenship. We grew up in the Philippines, so we carry a Chinese uh, visa from Taiwan. And we have, even though we have never been to Taiwan, so if we have to leave the United States, we cannot go back to Taiwan because we have never been to Taiwan. And we couldn't go back to the Philippines because we have been here maybe so many years that um, we lost our re-entry permit to the Philippines. So there was a period wherein we were suspended in mid-air, not knowing what to do or where to go. I came to America in 1982. I am uh, originally from China. So I went to college in China. Then uh, I came here to graduate school in 1993. Before I went on a trip, a, a, a global a trip, it's called Semester at Sea. It's a ship, you get on the ship. I taught uh, one semester on the ship. That ship traveled around the world. And we went to a lot of different countries. And so at that time, I, I became an American citizen, so my passport was a lot easier when I traveled. I didn't have to get visa when I went to quite a few countries. I go back to China almost every month. I do research in China. I go to the Philippines a lot, where my family is from, his family too. And then we also make an effort to go to visit China, uh, just for the kids. Just and for we make it a point that we bring every of our children and grandchildren to go to see where we grew up and when we, where our parents and ancestors came from. So we, we did that. It's our obligation to do it. It's evolutionary. You need to know where your source comes from. You know, when you drink water, you have to think where this, this water came from.